All right, what's up, people? Marco here. And uh, this time we're going to be doing the Vengeance for a second time because the first video I put out, I wasn't quite too happy with the, uh, the lighting quality on it. It looked like shit, absolute shit. So uh, before I do anything with it, I'm going to show you how it works, talk about it a bit, then I'm going to pop the cotton in and show you how it vapes. So this is the interior of the Vengeance by Paradigm Mods. All right, you're going to notice that versus the Magma, which was their first uh, RDA that they put out, this has four poles situated in a diamond-like pattern. The post holes, which are roughly about, uh, I'd say around 1.8 to 2 millimeters in diameter, have a diagonal orientation of the borings on it. The holes go diagonally. That way you don't have to worry about crisscrossing your leads, whether you build duals like what I have installed, or if you build quads on it. Okay, so uh, makes it fairly easy to pop your leads in, build your coils, and it has the usual deep well that the uh, the magma came to be known for. So you're going to notice it has that nice fat ass insulation right there in the center, made a peak, so it can withstand the heat of even your wildest dual coils. These air holes situated on the bottom are three millimeters in diameter, similar with the airflow control ring, which I'm going to talk about later on. It has slits on the bottom underneath each of these base air holes that are diagonally oriented, which prevents leaking, which was a prominent issue on the magma previously. So in order to fill this baby up and make sure and get it to leak, you got to fill this fucking well up all the way. So it makes it a lot more drip efficient, makes it easier for you to drip into it without having to worry about any leaks or anything like that. All right. The airflow control ring has these 3mm air holes, 3mm air holes, all throughout. And you can orient them such that they ventilate for dual coils, like so. Or twist it one way to the left or to the right, and you have them opened up for quad coil config. Each air hole is 3mm in diameter, similar with this, which was another issue with the magma with the air hole being at two and the widest air hole on the on the ring being at three. So it didn't quite make much sense. You had three mil of air take, three millimeters and um, two going up, but that was with the magma. So this has been taken care of on the Vengeance, which is sort of like, uh, it's, it's built as the magma on steroids. And I sort of have to agree. I'm gonna show you why once I pop the cotton leads in. The, flat, the, uh, the entire stainless steel portion is made of 304 grade. It has nice buttery smooth threading on it very well uh, maintained, quality checks were definitely there. I didn't have any issues with machine oil, even if I got this literally straight from the plant. Because <laughs> when, uh, when, when, I, when I passed by the shop and picked it up, the shipment had just arrived straight from the plant. So it was definitely quality checked. They probably went through some sort of ultrasonic cleaning or something because this was definitely machine oil and gunk free. Threads were also pristine when I got them. They were pretty much this way already. All right, that's what it looks like. The top cap, and it comes with this, the, uh, the wide board drip cap, is conical in design as well. So I'm going to take it apart and show you. Similar to the standard 510 top cap. Conical in design, which is something made popular by Paradigm when they initially released the Magma. So it maximizes the flavor output that you're getting from the device, whether you're using the standard cap and your 510 drip tips, or you're using the wide bore. So for this video, I'm going to be using the wide bore to show you how it vapes on dual coil using two air holes opened up. That's uh, pretty much it. So I'm just going to show you how I wick it. Nothing magical about it, just uh, pretty much how I tuck the, uh, the tails in, make sure I'm able to, uh, to maximize the well and get a decent amount of vapor and a fair amount of flavor, or a respectable amount of flavor, actually. Anyone who's been following my videos and has seen the first one knows that this is definitely one of my go-to addies when it comes to flavor retention. It's really way up there. Uh, not much I can say about it. You know, not, not much negative I can say about the way that it, uh, it retains the flavor. Let me just uh, tuck the coils in. So you're gonna notice these are micro coils I'm using. Uh, for this build, I was using 40 millimeter canthal wire. I have about eight or nine wraps around a 2.5 millimeter diameter. So I'm just gonna tuck the cotton tails in later on. Snip off another strip of that cotton. I'm using organic cotton, by the way. I find that it wicks very efficiently on um, on the Vengeance, and it tastes amazing. So here it goes. Just 
file this thing out. So I'm going to have to peel the other end off again. Just to get it slim enough, because 2.5 millimeters of diameter isn't really all that, uh, all that slim. So you're going to have to roll it really nasty. Make sure that you get the, uh, the leads going in, the cotton leads going in well. Pull it out on the other end. All right, so it's pretty sloppy, but we're going to fix that up in just a bit. So I'm going to snip the edges off just a little bit because I'm going to want them meeting in the center of the well. I want to get the leads tucked nice and tight in the center of the well. So what I usually do is once I've snipped off the leads, I just tuck it around the post and shove it down into the well like that. Usually I get them a bit longer, but this should suffice since they're going to meet at the center anyway. Make sure you're not obstructing the air holes on the base of the sides that aren't in use, and this is how I wick it for dual coils. All right, there you go. Got it nice and tight. We're going to soak it up with some liquid. Make sure we have the entire surface area of the cotton wick soaked up. And once I've given it a few hits, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons. You're going to want to make sure the center is also soaked up. We have it wicking as efficiently as possible. Pop the airflow control ring back on. Make sure we have two air holes fully ventilated. So we can get three mil on each side. All right, give it a few hits. I'm just going to prime it up a bit because I rolled it up pretty nasty. And then uh, just drip a few more into it. So here it goes. Uh, okay, voltage up a bit. So we have it at 3.99 volts, so let's say 4. Oh, delivery is definitely there. All right, so you've seen how it vapes pretty much, and uh, there. So as I mentioned, minimal leaking, even if you drip it straight through the drip cap. No issues there. Drip cap looks really nice and snug, gives it that nice two-tone look with the blackened portion on the top right there. It's pretty much uh, how I vape it on an all-day basis. So you got dual coils set up on this. The uh, flavor retention is definitely there. It's way, way at par with the magma. So I'd say um, definitely the uh, the billing as magma on steroids does it justice. It's uh, It looks really neat because versus the magma, which had a fatter uh, airflow control ring, this one is 22 mil all throughout. So it's uh, it sits nicely on all your stainless steel mods, all your other uh, tube mods, box mods that have a 22 mil juice well or a 510 connector. It looks pretty nice and snug. I just don't have it flushed because I didn't adjust the pin on my axis, but it sits pretty much flush on everything else after um, after modifications or after adjustments have been made. Regardless of whether I use the uh, standard top cap or the wide bore, I'm getting a fair, uh, fairly approximate amount of uh, vapor output and flavor retention on both. Now pros and cons time. All right, pros, flavor. Flavor and nicotine delivery are way, way up there. I've already talked about this time and time again. Paradigm got their shit right when they when when they did the magma, and they got their shit right again when they did the vengeance. Awesome, awesome stuff. Awesome performance in terms of vapor. I really can't say anything about it. It's one of two atomizers that I use on a daily basis for flavor. And by daily, I mean literally. I have both of them in my bag at all times and make sure that wherever I go, it goes with me. Pro number two, absurdly easy to build. Uh, the orientation of the poles makes it easy to build dual coils, makes it a cinch to build quad coils as well. The, the, uh, the way that they're made is that uh, you have similar ventilation going throughout and the posts are very well machined. They may look slim, but these are very sturdy stuff. I've built using 0.60 millimeter wire on it and uh, haven't had any problems. Now onto the cons. Con number one is, well, uh, the biggest problem I had with it is that I'm not able to use low gauge wire on it. I have difficulty because whenever I build using 0.70 and up, which is roughly about uh, 22 or 20 gauge, Whenever I try to put the cap back on, I can't even put it down. I mean, right here it stops and gets stuck with the coils. Well, the widest I've been able to build using those is about 2 millimeters. And using 20 gauge, 2 millimeters just doesn't cut it. It's going to heat up way too quick, and you're not going to enjoy your vape. 
uh, you're probably going to get burnt hits here and there, and it's pretty difficult to do that. Uh, you know, you're, you're really going to fuck it up that way. So that's, uh, that's con number one. Con number two is that in spite of the, the, uh, the modification that was made to the air hole slits that have it diagonally oriented, problem there is that it still does leak from time to time. Although, again, as I mentioned on my magma review, make sure that you bear in mind that this is a dripper. No matter how much juice it can hold because of the depth of the well, no matter how much cotton you stuff into it, bear in mind that it is a dripper. So please use it like one. If you don't want it to leak, Five to six drops is enough to saturate cotton in the amount that I uh, that I put in. That's uh, that's con number two, which is basically the only other con that I that, that I got out of it. Uh, I don't have any problems building it. The machining is just absolutely great. If you look at the bottom, it looks really cool. It has a silver plated copper contact on the bottom as well, which I forgot to mention earlier. Right there, you have the nice uh, laser etched or laser engraved paradigm logo, the serialization on the top, and the cog wheel design on the bottom on the entire circumference of the uh, 22 mil deck right there. And the nice V engrave for vengeance right here. Very nifty stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, so is it something I would recommend? Hell fucking yes, I would. Uh, for flavor, for vapor, you definitely got it. And the price point on it is just, re it's just you know, ridiculously affordable considering the fact that it does what it does it comes with what it comes with and the after sales support is definitely there um floor and alley are definitely top-notch guys when it comes to that so i wanted to thank them for forking this over had loads of fun with it i've had this for a while and uh, i just had to do the video again so it still holds top spot for me when it comes to flavor it's still something i take out on a daily basis having loads of fun with it. In fact, uh, I, I've gravitated more towards strippers because of the magma and because of the vengeance. I mean, I still have my black magma, which I just uh, loaned off to one of my buddies who's uh, thoroughly enjoying it right now. I hope you give it back, man. If you're watching this, give that shit back. Well, anyway, uh, that's the, uh, the vengeance for you. And um, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I'm going to post the necessary links in the, in the description, including a link to my first video, basically saying the exact same thing, but with better lighting. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. So y'all be a part, people. Cheers. Catch you on the flip side.